the world was dying, and it didn't even know it yet. In the span of a single year, entire cities transformed from vibrant centers of life into sprawling graveyards. The only constant sound was the tolling of church bells, ringing day and night a relentless, mournful song that became the soundtrack to a global tragedy. Panic set in. People fled the cities, hoping to outrun the invisible enemy, but they often carried it with them, spreading the very horror they sought to escape. Priests fell to their knees, their prayers echoing in cavernous, empty churches, begging for a divine intervention that never came. In the streets, huge bonfires burned day and night, casting an eerie, flickering glow on the stone walls. The smoke, thick with the scent of vinegar and herbs, was meant to purify the air, to ward off. The miasma they believed was the cause. But this plague, this creeping shadow, it had no fear of prayer, and it certainly wasn't stopped by fire. It moved through the countryside like smoke seeping through the cracks in a door, invisible, unstoppable. It didn't discriminate between the rich and the poor, the pious and the sinner. Every human connection, once a source of comfort, became a potential death sentence. A simple handshake, a shared meal, a comforting embrace, every touch was a gamble. Every breath you took in a crowded room felt like a risk. The very fabric of society began to unravel as fear replaced trust. Neighbors eyed each other with suspicion, and families were torn apart by loss and the terror of contagion. It was an age of profound darkness, where it felt as if humanity itself was on the brink of extinction. And yet, even in the deepest, darkest pit of despair, something remarkable happened. Humanity endured. We didn't just survive. We started to fight back, not with swords, but with knowledge. From the ashes of all that loss, something new was born. The old ways had failed, so new ways had to be found. This global trauma sparked a revolution in thinking. It laid the groundwork for modern medicine, for the principles of public health, for the scientific method. We learned about contagion, about quarantine, about the importance of sanitation. We began to understand that the world operated on principles we could study and comprehend, not just on superstition and divine will. The story of this great plague is a grim reminder of our vulnerability, a testament to the terrifying power of nature, but it's also a story of incredible resilience. It shows that even when death casts its shadow over the entire world, when all seems lost, the flicker of human hope refuses to be extinguished. It's a story about our instinct to learn, to adapt, and ultimately, to overcome. Because in our darkest hour, we find our greatest strength. Thank you so much for watching.